fasting voice, testing. Okay, right, great, that is working. Hooray! Hopefully this ends up coming through fine. Um, eh, you know, F1 2022 is out tomorrow, and uh, I might as well run a uh, run a little test, right? Actually, hold on. Let me just make sure that I've got something sorted first. Uh, I've just literally just thought of it now that I've come on here. No, yeah, I, I had crew chief running in the wrong game because of course I did because I am a professional. Radio check. Potter, radio check. Okay. Wonderful. So yeah, let's just run some laps quickly. But we've got this over and done with, and uh, reset my uh, recenter my position. Well, oh, no. Go. is clear. Push. Let's get some heat into these brakes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sure, let's just drift it around twice. Great way to start. Wonderful start, right? Yeah. Yeah, F122 is out tomorrow. I want to test some VR stuff, so. In regards to how Twitch does, seeing as, you know, I've obviously done it on YouTube quite a bit, but that was with action and not trying to record and stream at the same time, so I can see like a bit of frame rate issues here and there. Uh, this might be causing some problems with the GPU. Plus, I want to test the new noise filter on my mic too. Uh, would not have used it on this, on my mod mic wireless yet, so... Breaking this thing is so difficult to used to now that I'm used to the other stuff. Instead of using a 90s F1 McLaren. Ah, it's gonna be a relaxing time. Not much, not much to talk about really. Just, just driving and seeing our laps go. Broke down a third there. Just getting used to it. Just getting ourselves in the groove.
clearly terrible at trail breaking this car at the moment. All right, Justin, we need to watch this. I've minutes. mostly driven around Montreal, I guess, where there's not as much trail breaking. Well, there's not really any trail breaking. Getting down to first gear in that corner is absolutely ridiculously awful. We need a bit more downforce for the uh, big corners as well, because the rear just like slipping out. Quick. Your brake temperatures are fine. Was a 139.08. Good lap. That's your quickest so far. A bit closer. A bit further away. A completely different county in Britain with that. That was a really bad time to downshift the first. Downship? Downshift. I can't speak today. I didn't sleep much last night and I've been on the go since early this morning, so, um. Stuck on a bunch of wrestling now while just dicking about with different things. Three is a tenth off your best. 
really hear that tire scrub in the rear. It's, just, it's quite amazing, actually. Let's see if we're either braking a bit later there or lifting off a lot later and just letting it coast in and go down a second because I'm losing a lot of time. In that spot, so it's a. Uh, it's one to think about. Not afraid of taking more speed through here, seeing as I was, uh, seems to end up going out wide in fifth, so maybe need some adjustment for the gear ratios. Just done a 138.92. Sector three times quick. Sector 1 is a tenth off your best. Oh, that seems a bit better. Just need to dial in some more speed. I need to stop downshifting to first at the worst times now for sending the rear spinning. Sure how violent the downshifts are in this car. You can see, it feels like I should have dropped the fourth there, but usually if I drop the fourth, I end up cutting too much on the inside, so. Easy tiger, easy tiger. That lap was a 139.68. You're now 0.8. Off your best. Like that, it was only it was less than a second off uh, my best, despite absolutely messing up that last turn with the uh, the wireless rear likes to move. your best. Your left side tyres are carrying minor wear. Time is quick. That was a one thirty eight point three four. Sector three time is fast. Much faster than that. I thought I was going to go much faster than that. Too wide. I'm trying to take that wide angle and try and get down in the power a bit earlier. <sighs> I 
You know, it's it's uh the overseer is quite fun to this one. You know, it's, it's controllable, which is not what you'd expect, but. I say right as I smash it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uncontrollable, definitely. God, alarm wasn't even here to flip me. Unbelievable. Oh no, Justin. Your suspension's completely knackered. There's nothing we can do there. I mean, yeah, like, I, I would have probably expected to get, like, a 135 here at least in this car. But that's it. That's a start. That's a start for messing about. Oh, hi, Laws. Fancy you being here for, um... For, well, well, for the mention of you, who would have given this? Your ears burning clearly. Uh, right. Let's hop into the ultimate Gen Two then, and uh, take that around Silverstone. Silverstone will be the first to try and drive tomorrow, because it is a track that I'm very slow at generally, and I need to like pick up, <sighs> pick up my shit at it basically in in every every game and every form of sim racing and every. Every class. Your exit is clear. Watch the white line. We've got cold brakes all round. Now it's going to be getting used to the extra front end grip. Whoa, 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 that's not what I expected. Yeah, I was busy looking down at my dash, because I'm trying to get these tires up, because I find that the Gen 2s are still the tire I find hardest to uh, get up in Automobilista 2. I cannot get the tire temperatures up at all Exit's without running Push. some sort of extreme setup that just completely obliterates me with any sort of, like, distance. And keep it tight, keep it relaxed. This section is definitely worse in because I always end up taking too much speed into the first part and completely compromising the rest of it for getting good speed along here. Getting used to the trail breaking in this car now versus the 90s McLaren is, is uh. Think I've but yeah, like, like, like my left front is so much hotter than the right front, which you'd expect around this track, but still, like, it's it's the difference is huge, so. Okay. 
can't remember if this still has my settings from Monaco. So I might need to reset and just go with a default for something a bit more stable around here. Might help with the tires a bit, actually. Be too much downforce as well, slow me down, because I feel slow in the straights. Thirty-three. Let me return to Bitbox and let me just reset the defaults. Uh, Fourteen laps. Yeah, that'll do. Um. Hmm, doesn't seem Nightbot is working today. Wonderful. Run his VR Just message, clear. but push, push, push. Seems he's not doing it. All right. Uh, yeah, this is definitely faster now with the lower wings, the default wings. I'm sure they can be thrown down a bit more, maybe at least at the front. Got way too much inside there. I don't know why I went down to sixth. Time was one thirty one point six. <laughs> 
sector one time is good. Your brake temperatures are all really high. We're going to have to cool them. I mean, Jim, I cannot brake any less, seeing as I barely use brakes for most of this track. Sector two time is good. Not that was a one thirty point nine. Sector three times okay. Far enough now to get a good angle in. Taking the sausages as well. Sector one is up with one. Slower than your best. Lap time was at 132.4. Sector three times okay. Sector 1 is 0.3, slower than your best. I'll throttle over here that I wasn't expecting there. Shift down quick enough, right? Looks like that was outside track limits. Really, Jim? I would never have guessed. Six to two is one point six. Off your best. Time was 133.8. Sector 3 is 1.1. Off your best. <laughs> Sector 1 is two tenths off your best.
Sector 2 time is okay. Looks like a bit of a wear on your left front. Surprising is that's the one that's heating up compared to everything else. Time was on 30.8. That's your best lap in this session. Sector 2 time is okay. The lap time was at 130.2. That's your best lap in this session. Let's just touch the grass, okay. That might be outside track limits. I'll take a 130.2 for now. Let's 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 test against some AI and see how they do and see how that they probably do like a a 122. Well I, I think I think Nightbot got woken up again in the end. Uh quite a bit. Interesting that you must be slightly delayed. Weird. Bad nightbot. Bad. Bad nightbot. Uh right. Do 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 Alright. Let's Oh, let's try a race then. Pair up for it. I'm tired. I did say this was going to be like a very chill stream where I don't talk much, so all the more reason to get in and do a thing. Not not doing Brands Hatch, absolutely not. Let's go back to Silverstone as expected. Uh, heavy cloud, 15 laps. Don't need any practice, but we will do the 10 minutes of qualifying. Uh, and yeah, let's... Hop to it. That one thirty point two as well was without using any ERS or unbalanced, so you know still a bit to gain from that. Intrigued to see how ERS really works on this um, track, considering again I don't brake much, so you're going to be depending on the on the other things for harvesting. Um. See how the frame rate holds up now with how many cars we're we running with here. 24. Let's get our fuel down to like. Let's do seven laps because we only already have time for one run. If it takes it, it's clear. Okay, Justin, we've got nine minutes to get a decent lap in. Brakes are cold. We need to get some heat into them.
just done at 127.8. Yeah. Gonna end up a good bit slower. So probably gonna get down to like the 126s, isn't it? Like the 125s or something. Last lap time. Has just done a 129.3. That was a 129.3. The car in front lap time is a 129.1. Just take that in third and try and just tighten that angle instead of dropping a second for the extra turn in. Sector 2 is 2.3, off the pace. Alright, ERS is charged up. Should be good for another lap. Okay, Justin, five minutes to go, five minutes left. B17. You're a second off the pace in Sector 3. Too wide, way too wide. Your brake temperatures are far too high. kinds of wrong around here. That shows in the time. Session. What's not? Sector 3 is 1.1 seconds off the pace. What did the 129.2 before? Oh, got myself distracted now between Jim and the car behind me. Let, let, let's let this car go. Hopefully, we can get another lap in. Two seconds off the pace. We're seeing minor wear on your left front. Seconds off the pace. I mean, that's not bad considering I've had my ERS off to push myself for the next lap. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. B19. 
Five minutes of fuel left. Hey, this is where it defaults to let me down because I cannot put the power down there at all, so. Some setup changes would be welcome, but we'll roll with it. Not too wide. We think you might have gone outside of track limits there. We need to watch these track limits. I wonder if I can try and get another lap in, because that was going well. I could just downshift it too early. Maybe I could have used, been using a tap and a brake there with the, the arrest use. <laughs> Oh, come on, move, please. Ah, oh, no. Oh, I wasn't expecting to be slow there. God damn it. Alright, and yeah, we've got bad suspension damage. That would have probably been a good lap. Your suspension's completely knackered. There's nothing <sighs> can do that. could have been a mid to low 128, so it still would have been a good bit off. It still would have been in the top 10, so... Oh well, I guess we've got 15 laps of, uh, of cutting through the field, so... 15 laps, P19. Oh, I had this set up for night time, did I? Did I? Well, am I gonna have to restart this? Am I? Okay, Justin, be ready. Watch for the lights. Okay, let's give this a go for a second! Go, go, go. I forgot I had a set for night time for the, um... Uh huh. Uh huh. This is going great. I can. I can definitely see everything. What? 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 what, what hello. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wonderful. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Let's go and reset this. Because somehow I, I don't think. I don't think driving at night on a track with no floodlights is really going to work in an F1 car for some reason. Where's the uh, grid legends? Uh, randomly attached but very aerodynamically compromising headlights that they throw on all the open wheel cars in that game. And of course, I've got to suffer 8pm and heavy cloud. Of course it's going to be dark. Uh, yeah, let's just go for 3pm. Um, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll pretend that was a practice session and we'll go on with a race, or um, with qualifying. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll pretend that way. Plus, I forgot to set my, um... I mean, to be fair, whenever I saw it was dark, I jumped in anyway, but I did forget to set my fuel for the 15 laps too, so... Uh, especially when there's no mandatory pit stop that I know of. What a time.
Right. Okay. So let's look at the setup for seven laps. Sure. Your exit looks clear. Stay behind the line. We've got nine minutes to set a lap. Your brakes are cold. Be careful. First qualifying of the day, definitely. Let this guy go behind us. Let's let these couple of cars go behind me. Just done a one twenty seven point nine. The leader's just done a one twenty seven point seven. Off track. P five. Out of track limits there. Let's get our ERS back. Last lap time. That last lap was a 128.4. Okay. So I'm like just a second off. Uh, so, yeah. I feel I know where a lot of lap time can be gained, especially around here with how late I'm getting on the throttle and how nervous I am. So, definitely setup changes for that, I think I will need. I assume these guys have their ERS on, so, uh, I assume this game models the ERS for the AI. Five minutes remaining, five minutes left. P5. 
27. Your broke temperatures are really high, mate. They're cooking. That's so wide again. I'm never close with that section. Either I nail it or I just send it completely to another country. Shut it down too early. The leader has just done a 127.6. A lot of time in that with us. Mr. Two is 0 0.7 off the pace. Got to do any RS setup lap. B9, that's your fastest lap. Sector 3 is 0.7 yeah. off the pace. Jim's broken, seeing as again that was like a second slower than the previous lap time I did, so uh, I guess the update for Jim over the weekend broke him completely in terms of keeping actual pace. So that was a bad lap and still a 129 something, so uh, not too shabby. That's not a good start. P10. Sector 3 is 3.4 seconds off the pace. See how far behind we are in the first sector for messing with that final corner and uh, might need to set the ERS up for the next lap for the final lap of the session. Dead heat with my previous uh, best first sector, so I'll continue on. All right, Justin, five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. Right, can I get at least three tenths of loss in that second sector back in this final sector? Because it's my final chance. think so. Uh, still 10th though, so I'll take it. 6th, uh, 10th down in the first sector, about uh, only a 10th down in the second sector, and final sector about 10th down. So yes, the first sector I really need to tighten up in. It's probably 
that section before going, like that, that technical section before going onto this uh, DRS straight that is causing me to lose so much time. Um, I feel I'm just not breaking properly compared to what the AI seem to be doing through that spot, so they probably have some setup changes done that can help them with that a bit, um, seeing as... <sighs> Is it Project Cars 2 only that has AI over 80 or 90 do setup changes, or is that an Automobilista as well? I'm sure Automobilista probably has it too. So, yeah. 15 laps. 10th position. Oh, right. Okay. Let me make sure I actually set up my uh, petrol this time. Yeah, I'll fuel ski. I'll put in 17 laps just to be safe. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I hit T1 here. It's a bit of a lunge, but hey ho. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, just in. Decent start. We can build something from here. Little love tap. Let's turn it down to balance for a second. Yeah, they can carry so much extra speed through there, so, like, that's where some setup changes are needed as well. The default just won't cut it. It's gonna be a cut. Oh, what an overtake! Ah, mate! Okay, I'm gonna restart that one because that was an unfortunate hit on him, but Jesus Christ, he was a bit too aggressive coming around there on the inside. Laps. Get ready, mate. Right. So I don't want to take anyone out. I need to practice for some online stuff. Go, go, go! And at least online people be a bit more predictable. Uh, let's take it easy here a bit. Well, that was a hell of a cut, and then this guy's still going around the outside, and I push into the thing. Great start! This is going well! That was my own fault. Like, that was completely stupid. I mean, they're both my fault, but... Ah, oh, Need to chill. Need to chill. Right, come on, let's relax. Need to back in my racing groove, because I've only been hot lapping now for the last number of weeks. I've not really been doing any races, so I'm... completely rusty. Oh my god. Everybody's going in around the outside and everything. Right, hold on. Let's just see if we can actually get it done where it's clean again like the first time around. And then, hopefully, maintain enough speed through the middle section to not have the AI coming around the side. Green, green, green. Let me just restart again, seeing as the car started rolling before even the thing started. Wonderful. The track this is going great. 22. Only seven restarts. The is 17 Celsius. Just testing how many restarts we can go through now. Floor it. Green, green, green. If I take it anyway slower, then the car is going to come up around. Oh my god. They break so early there as well. I was not expecting that. Let's keep going. We'll keep going with 50 million restarts. Let's just keep going with 50 million okay, restarts. Let's just keep doing go. everything. Restarts all day, every day. Go, go, go. Let's cut back over this way and try and cut him off because he's going to try and cut down the inside. It still goes around the outside. If I tried to maintain any speed through there, it would have been death. Oh. This, this AI is a lot more aggressive. Than it. I know they did some major changes to the Automobilista AI recently, so... I wasn't expecting this aggression. Okay. 
Okay, we'll, t we'll return that spot. Right, okay, he didn't spin out at least, I don't think. So there we go, returned. Still the same guy. We'll go on. No issues, no major issues whatsoever, right? No wing damage, I don't think. Oh my god, I cannot. It's like they're stuck in rails as well. And they will not, like, give way at all, or not, like... There is no... No giving of space or worrying about where my angle is for on the inside or outside, it seems. Plus, I'm driving ridiculously rusty as well. Let's knock it down to... Did have my rear against him, I think. But again, I feel like the AI would do that to me. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm being compromised every time. Then the AI just blasts on through. I mean, I'm used to the open-wheel AI and automobiles and not being the funnest to drive against, but, uh... You know, there's a guy right beside me. They don't leave it to space in that one. Now, that one, I would say, is not anywhere near anything. Okay, gaps are fanning a bit, but maybe we can actually go and do something now. So much speed through there. Yeah, I've got the. They've got a lot more downforce than I have for going through that. Because with the difference on the straights and here, you can tell now that the default setup is not really helping with getting, taking any momentum through any of these corners either. You just look at the, the speed difference again. Like that's 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 that setup difference where they're getting so much of that extra grip going around the corners in this default setting. Wow. Done a 132.0. I waste a lot of ERS in that lap as well, so. Compromise myself worrying about trying to leave space for this guy. Gap ahead is now 29.5 He's going to come up the inside, isn't he? You're like, look at that! That is madness. So yeah, combine this rust with the fact now that I cannot do anything with the AI in terms of, like, <sighs> closing doors or battling okay, with them around the area, it seems. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Oh, I've, I've really I've distracted myself by looking in the mirror. The out the track limits there. Yeah, no surprise. Okay, maybe we can get, like, a top 15. What position am I? Say again. What place am I? Oh, no, I just can't hear you. What position am I? Repeat, please. 
this. The gap in front is now 0.8. Jim really doesn't want to help me. Where am I? Oh, for God's sake, if he says Silverstone, I'm leaving. Can't aim, mate. Okay, now Jim just hates me. What time is it? 8.06 p.m. So he can hear me. So I've, I've talked on every automobilista stream I've done so far. I've talked about my issue with... Place. You're all over the place. Come on, man. Get your head back together. Jim, I know! I'm trying to talk here, Jim. Off the pace. Um... The gap behind is now 0.6. Shush, Jim. I've talked before about how... I don't like how the AI works in this, and the AI right behind you seems to be a lot faster than it is... Until it gets in front of you, and then it is dramatically slower. Um... You can see it, for example, in qualifying. Um, it's been a Project Cars engine thing for quite a while in the in the mad, uh, Madness engine. Uh, you can usually see it like with a lot of offline stuff for doing any career stuff and having uh, the car behind you generally be the one that might go a lot faster than the other AI if you're doing well in qualifying. Uh, I wouldn't say it. it's like as if a weird rubber banding issue is happening with the car directly behind you. It's also my own point of view for how the AI works sometimes. It's like right out of ERS range or DRS range. They break so early for going in here. Oh god, this guy's gonna send it, isn't he? You've just done a 131.3. Oh, 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 okay, okay. That's, that's, that's... Uh-huh, uh-huh. No cuts, no cuts. Uh, don't panic, we'll get him back. No, no, we Your outside track limits there. No, Jim, I don't think I was. That's the, that's the pro line. That is the pro line. The one pro line, the one true pro line in this world. So I had to try and take it flat there, otherwise he would have been up the inside without slowing down, without giving me any space, and would have barged through, so... I had to try and take it flat, and then, obviously, on the exit, that ended up being a bit awkward. The gap in front is now 0.1. See, look, he went cut right in, right on the bloody apex. There is no... Attempt at space. He messed that up because I'm too busy ranting. Massive cut again. I cannot get my turn in like I was getting in qualifying at all now. You're out of track limits there. Mafra is reeling you in. The gap's now 0.8. I can't wait to be overtaken and knocked down to 17th then. Like a bit of a wet on your left front. Now that 
pass a bit better. I feel like I've lost my ERS management in this game as well. Behind is now 0.9. Let's see if we can get back into the DRS range for this guy and try and manage our ERS better. Look, we can keep up with him and not get, gain a second lap and then lose a second the next lap. Justin, that's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. That's your quickest lap in this session. Doesn't say much because it was still shit. Oh my god, can we miss that up? This guy's got DRS behind me as well. Let's let's cover the inside. Even though it'll still send it around the outside. And still, we'll come in and try and take the bloody Apex. Like, that is the issue. Like, yeah, I made some stupid shit with trying to do the stuff at the start of the thing, but, like, the AI yeah, is just so bad at taking the Apex. As if you're not there. Like, this is obscene. I've mean, got a bit of suspension damage now after that. I mean, would you be surprised with that sort of hit, but still. Again, I'm driving slow and bad at the moment, but that is... Every time I start ranting, I completely mess up this section as well. You've just gone out of track limits. How's the car? Speak more clearly, I can't hear you. What's my car status? Right. I didn't catch that. You can just not understand me ever at all anymore. What's the car status? 17th place. I didn't catch that. Yeah, okay. Jim just hates me then. Ranting enough that I end up losing all my front end grip from turning at the wrong point, or uh, turning too early. The gap to Mafra ahead is now 0.8. I was afraid to try and overtake him here. Probably take the apex again. Terribly slow.
It's fine, mate. It's just a scrape. The gap to Mafra ahead is now 0.6. Outside track limits there. Mm -hmm. I know, Jim. I have a lot less front end grip than I thought. Front tyres have got minor wear. Pretty place part of it. Listen to all the dirt being dragged across the track as well. That entire section is covered from the right hand side. How long's left? Four laps remaining. Oh, now he can understand me. A lot of dirt across the track there as well. Mafra in front is now 2.7 seconds. Your right front has got minor wear. Your left front showing some wear. Keep an eye on it. How's the car? You've got a tiny bit of bodywork damage there. Just ignore it. Wonder if it's uh, front wing, maybe. Be part of why I've lost a bit of speed and general pace not that I had much pace in the first place but you know what I mean it's a bad line terrible line The inside there as well to take good speed onto here, so that's more time lost. Oh, I'm losing so much time per second now as well, just from the damage. Insane. All right, I'm gonna need to tweak around with the aggression settings to see if I can stop the AI like just fully taking the apex, no matter where they are and where you are. That really did remind me a lot of Project Cars now with uh, AI just blasting through you, no matter no matter what you were at. There we go. I drag some extra dirt onto the track for the hell of it.
lap to go. Uh, let's just mess it up. Final one. Go ahead of it. I'm trying to compare now how this feels with uh, the default setup on the F122 cars come tomorrow then. Just to see how it all works Rodriguez out. Is gaining on you. The gap is now 7.5. I'm two seconds of down. Down a lap on the guy in front. I'm not surprised the guy's catching me behind. Thing is, the real life cars are already quite understeery as it is, but also very prone to um, the chance of that oversteer and all that. That's the end of the race. Never mind. Oh, no problem, Jim. No problem. No rush. This is all a bit relaxing and 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 just being chill. Uh, you know, except for whenever the AI would cut in front of me or whenever I'd make a mistake in the first 17 restarts. Um. But yeah, to, to see how it runs now tomorrow, considering the cars are already heavily over under steering along with the extra um, power over steering and all that chance, I guess Codemasters are going to make them even more under steering, so it's going to be a bit of a mess. So I can see there being a lot more extreme setups this year than last year. Uh, I wonder with the change as well if things are going to be simplified even more. Um... I don't know. I'll probably I'll probably go and have a look around now and see how what what, what the actual proper professional streamers are making of of F1 2022 or just 22. Now that's under EA's full moniker and uh, yeah, just just see what they think, see what they feel, see what they say. Especially people that would have played both Automobilista and the um, and the uh the bloody what do you call it the, the mod in a set of corsa uh for the 2022 style regs all right well i'll be back with f1 tomorrow assuming it all runs well uh and assuming this ran okay at least hopefully maybe possibly a little bit tiny bit super uh Super time. Praline. Praline? Praline? Oh, I'm, I'm confused. What's going on, Lauren? Explain that to me later on. Right. I'm going to go and melt. Because I'm already melting. Goodbye.